Welcome back to Warsaw Fan TV for the preview of Warsaw against Tranmere. Tranmere are not very happy at the minute. They were playoffs last season and this season so far they have been struggling big style. Um, of course, let Peter Clark go or he was wrestled away from them, whichever way you look at it. And they've gone for a younger, energetic team. Um, not doing anywhere near as well as last season. But they did get a very good 1-0 away win uh, against Salford last Saturday. And that is giving them hope that they're on an upward trajectory. Um, that gives them the third win with one draw and five defeats. Warsaw, with just two wins in the league, three draws and four defeats, we are now one point and one place below Tranmere, despite their woes. So, Warsaw are going to start doing it, and uh, Tranmere, equally. We expect Tranmere to be up there. So maybe Warsaw and Tranmere are going to March up the league together. That would be nice, wouldn't it? But um, rather have it with Warsaw above Tranmere. <laughs> That'd be good. And uh, for that to happen, we need to listen very clearly to Mike Flynn's pre-match and uh, play for 90 plus minutes and uh, keep that focus throughout the game. Take our chances. And more importantly, play on the front foot. Play with some confidence. It's difficult when you're not one in ten, but it's that morale game, isn't it? We've got to play our game. Um, just trying to sit back and soak it up is always going to be a difficult game, isn't it? Um, play forward, take your chances, get the shots away. We've got some players who are um, scared to have a shot. Um, Jack Earing, on the other hand, he's been... Uh, Improving, he got a couple of shots away against Cheltenham. Um, didn't quite hit the target, but he did play the incisive pass through for Danny Johnson for Warsaw's goal. But uh, defensive lapses meant it was a, a mere consolation. And um, there were three penalties Warsaw should have had, and uh, a couple of the Cheltenham players should have definitely been sent off for uh, very severe challenges when on yellers. But we can't rely on the refs, can we? We know that for sure. We can't rely on the refs. Warsaw have got to play on the front foot and they're going to attack. And uh, I think the defence is reasonably solid, but not when they're trying to defend for 70 minutes or whatever. So, yes, on to Saturday. We'll be in Smash Burgers. So uh, we get 20% off with our code. Warsaw Fan TV 20, WFTV 20, get 20% off. Um, and if you haven't tried Smash Burgers yet, you should do. It's uh, excellent food. Fill your tum up. And uh, that's the spirit. So come along and join us, have a photo with us and uh, come and have a chat. So uh, look forward to seeing those that uh, join us in there. That'd be good. But so for Warsaw... On Saturday, can the confidence return? We're certainly hoping so. Um, team news, um, Ronan Mayer, he wasn't featuring at all on Tuesday because he was out with the Republic of Ireland under-19s. He did get 30 minutes with them um, against Gibraltar and uh, a couple of assists, I believe. I didn't see it myself, but uh, so that's good. He's playing again on Saturday. Um, not sure, I think that's against Wales, I think, and then there's another one as well. So uh, he's not going to be back for a while. Um, Jacob Maddox, he didn't feature at all on Tuesday. Let's hope he's not injured. Um, we know he's got hamstring history, but um, he's looked very bright, hasn't he? So uh, in the game we saw last Saturday. So uh, let's hope he's back with us. What team are we going to play on Saturday? Donovan Daniels had a head injury, so he is likely to be missing, I would think, with the uh, concussion rules. So, if we go four at the back, we would expect Liam Bennett, right back, Taylor Allen, left back, and uh, Manny Month and Peter Clark 
as centre halves. In the mix, obviously, Hayden White, possibly at right back, and Liam Gordon. I don't think he's ready for a start yet, but he had a good cameo against Cheltenham, so uh, he may figure again at some point. In the middle, please, please, please don't play Comley and Kinsella again. <laughs> if we're playing 4 4 2, or it might be sort of a, a 4 3 3 or 4 3 1 2 sort of thing. Um, across the middle, I think Kinsella or Comley, either for me there. But uh, Jack Earing, Hutch are likely to be in there. Um, as far as up front, got to be Andy Williams, DJ, and Tom Knowles. So 4-3-3 uh, three, three is, um, I think, probably what we're going for. But then how about Jacob Maddox? Where's he going to fit? Is he going to come off the bench? Are we going to play 4-4-2? Four, four, Have maybe Earing and Comley in the middle, or Earing and Kinsella in the middle, and then Knowles on one side, Maddox on the other. That's um, another option. So we have options. We have players available. It's whether Warsaw can hit the back of the net. Come on. Kinsella, last time he had a shot, is um what what year was that? I think he did have a chat he did have a shot against Cheltenham, but it was blocked in fairness. But I mean all of the players have got to take a pop. Take a pop at goal. They're just too nervous to uh have a shot and miss. Um I'm on target. <laughs> Situation's not great really. But, I mean, we've got to have a go. You've got to be in it to win it. You've got to buy a ticket for the raffle, as Kevin Keegan used to say. <laughs> in other news, um, it's interesting. My subscriber count has gone to 1313. So, hopefully, that's going to be unlucky for Tranmere, we hope. <laughs> um, as always, um, good to see you guys round and about. Good to see and chat to a couple of people at Cheltenham as well. So that was fun. Um, let's hope for some joy to, on Saturday, can we? Hope for some joy. I'm going to a beer festival on Saturday night. So hopefully I'm going to be celebrating rather than drowning my sorrows. If you want to join me there, that's in Sedgley, sunny Sedgley. It's on tonight and on Saturday night, so uh, you can have a look at that if you're in the zone, if you're in the area, come and have a look, and uh, I'll see you up there after I've done all my match reactions and all my editing and all that. <laughs> so, for my match prediction, I'm going for Warsaw 2, Tramia 1. I'll settle for that, I'll settle for anything that gives us three points, in fairness. Off somebody's backside for a 1 0, that'll do. Um, I've got a little clip coming up from the Cheltenham game. It's not a great highlight, in fairness. It was uh, poor Douglas James Taylor. His moment came and sadly went. I'll leave you that clip. Right then, thanks for watching, Wars Fan TV. The joy is somewhere. The pain, we've had enough. Cheers. Come on, Taylor. On your head, son. On your head. Oh, can you believe it? <laughs>